I'm gonna show you how you can nail down your weight distribution in the golf swing. Where it should be at address, where it should be at the top, impact and follow through, so you can step out on the golf course next time. Hit those iron shots of your life and do just like Tom did. He broke 80 12 days after using this tip. A little bit of practice, a little bit of play, stepped out and broke 80. Now just put this in perspective, his scores were around 83, 84 before going out. So let's get into this brand new video. And this is just a reminder, we are a channel that is here to help you play your best golf with simple golf tips. I'm answering this question today from James, and I want to know what I need to help you with in your golf game too, so get down in the comments. So where your weight is in the golf swing has a massive impact on the power you can deliver and where your low point is, the point at which the club interacts with the ground. Look, if I move my weight back here, my low point would be behind the golf ball. If I move my weight considerably in front, my low point would be very ahead of the golf ball. There's obviously there a little bit of a balance between too much this way and too much that way. So nice and simple, let's nail down these percentages. So we're gonna also show you from above here as well, this camera angle, I absolutely love it. We'll show you a split screen of where the weight distribution is and how my body looks. So I always think about this, with an iron in my hand, I start off with 50-50 and how I imagine this in my head is that I'm stood on a set of scales, okay? I move into the backswing, I feel 60, 40, and look at how I've not swayed to that position. And if I had to put a point at which I felt that pressure, it would be just inside my foot there, okay? As I'm coming down into impact now, I feel very much 70, 30. And very important this point, I feel again the weight sort of middle to heel of my foot and a little bit of pressure in this toe. And when I finish off, I feel 90, 10. So let's just run through those again and I'll do it a little bit quicker so you can get a really good image of what we're doing here. 50, 50 to start, 60, 40, 70, 30, 90, 10. That is as easy as that has to be. This is the brilliant drill I want you to do at the range. But first off, I would definitely recommend doing sort of eight to 10 reps, feeling those percentages. But look at this, right? I've just placed my towel, and this is just a great way of focusing, right? Focusing on where your weight distribution is. And I was saying at the start, Tom broke 80 because simply he had this focus point of where he wanted to get to to help him strike the irons around about the six, five and seven better, which were his most used irons at his golf course. So I want you to think about this really, really simply here of this is highlighting a set of scales, right? We wanna come off that left scale in the backswing, but that point of impact where all the business is done, I want you to make sure you feel 70, 30. And this is that focus point because, I say because, if you don't get onto that left hand side and fall back, the towel will scrunch. So, so we should be able to hit shots and make some swings where the towel doesn't really scrunch up, the towel doesn't really move if we move our way into that left side correctly. Okay, let me hit this one away, then I'm gonna show you a nice simple way Tom took this to the golf course. Here we go, let's do this one in slow-mo so you can see this. So look at this shot. I'm moving in this golf swing. I'm feeling those percentages with an element of flow. And then as I come into impact, look how the towel doesn't scrunch up. This is really, really important. And I reckon you can do this drill with all of your irons. Build some confidence with the shorter irons, let's say like eight iron or maybe nine iron, and then build into your seven, six. And then if you do carry a five iron, a five iron, but this will also be brilliant for your hybrid. So this for me could be the golden nugget piece of information for you, how you take it to the golf course. So we are 160 yards from the 12th green here at Mottram Hall. But what I said to Tom was, right, do as much as you can with those drills, feeling the pressure and having that towel under your foot, just to give you like a sense of focus. And that's sometimes all we need when trying to improve our swing. But how do you take this to the golf course? Well, what I said to him was, and again, I wanna reiterate this point, when we're transferring back, we're not swaying. 
because that's going to require a long way to go back this way. What I want you to really feel is make two practice swings before every shot. And you don't have to be slow with this. I want you just to feel that you rock the club forward, rock it back, 60, 40, 70, 30, 90, 10. And then back in my mind, all I'm going to focus on is that point of impact, 70, 30. 70, 30. So that just gives you the idea of, right, okay, well, where am I trying to get to? 70, 30. Keep flowing, keep moving. And that's how we can hit those iron shots a lot longer, a lot straighter, and with divots just like that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell to never miss any of these simple, free golf tips.